The Canon RP is Canon's entry level full frame RF mount camera, but is it worth buying in 2023? As we know from all the videos rating about RF glass, getting into the new world of Canon isn't cheap when going the full frame route. And with the R7 and R10 out, it isn't even cheap getting into the APS-C RF line. But if you do want to go with the APS-C line of Canon, you'd have to go with the M line of Canon's mirrorless cameras. Although it seems as though Canon has abandoned the M mount, but there are some great third party M mount lenses out there that are definitely worth it for photography and video. The RP has basically been deemed as the camera to pass up when looking to get into the full frame RF mount. I personally passed up on it because it lacked crucial features I was getting out of the Panasonic GH5S. Honestly, I didn't give it a chance at the time. However, after purchasing it again and working with it on a few projects, I have to say the Canon RP is a simple, basic camera in nature, but produced above par results. I've actually slipped in some RP clips in past videos that I filmed with the Sony a7 IV and I think they match well. The Canon RP is a stripped down version of the Canon EOS R, R5, R6, and every other R series camera, including the R7 and the R10, which in my opinion is not a negative because some might not be looking for a high-end camera with all the top specs that can be intimidating. And in the case of someone looking for a basic camera, the Canon RP is the way to go. It shoots phenomenal 1080p. It has great stabilization, great autofocus, but compared to the other Canon cameras on the market, it is stripped down. Now, I'm no stranger to getting wrapped up in all the specs. My goal is to find the perfect camera or something close to it. This is in itself difficult because when it comes to photography and video, the perfect camera is the camera that it's perfect for the job, which just might be the camera you least expect, like the Canon RP. The Canon RP isn't a perfect camera. It isn't even the best camera, but it just might be the right camera for what you need and maybe even for the jobs that you're working on right now. For example, I know the Canon RP is a great vlog camera, a great BTS camera, a great thumbnail camera, because aside from the subpar video specs, the Canon RP is a great photography camera. I think it's a phenomenal camera when it comes to shooting photography and it's definitely great when shooting video that's in 1080p. If you just want a simple basic dialed back camera that can produce quality, then the Canon RP just might be the camera for you. So is it worth buying in 2023? My answer is yes. And if I had to pick it up again, I would. But if you got any value out of this video, consider hitting subscribe and liking and staying awesome. Stay awesome.